Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, um, Art by SLB, and today I'm just working on another canvas for the spring show, um, and this is another island piece. Um, this one I did the letters straight across and the numbers straight across instead of diagonally like the other one. I'm not sure what that was, so I do apologize. Um, so with this one, when I brought this, I went away and I brought this from Michael's in a pack. It's a 12 by 12. And during the travel, bringing it back home, it was ripped. So I've just had it for the longest while knowing that I was going to do something where I was going to cut the canvas. So that's now what I'm going to do with this. I'm going to try to attempt to cut this out of this canvas. So I have never done this before. It's the first time. I'm just going to see how it goes. And as you can see, this was the original cut there. Ripped. Um, so that's where the D is on the BDA. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this out on, cam on the camera. I mean, I don't want to do the whole thing on camera because it's going to probably take too long. And um, So what I'm going to do is, as I cut it, I'm going to try to cut inside the line. So that way I always leave a little edge. Um, so here goes nothing. I don't know if it's best to do this upside down the canvas. As we can see, this is going to take us some time, take me some time to cut it all out. Okay, so there's the front part of the B. This is a little jagged, this edge where it ripped. So I'm just slowly going to see if I can't give it a little trim. So it's smooth. And there we go. So there is part of the D. Sorry for the blinking. So I'm going ahead and cutting on the inside of the lines. And um, what I did to get this, I drew these letters and numbers on here myself, but for the island I just put a piece of a template underneath the canvas and I just traced it. I mean I have a feeling this is easier doing it on the back side but the only thing is I cannot see my image through the back side it would be nice if I had a lighted table but I don't have one Race, just if you decide to try this, just take your time. The exacto knife is sharp, 
and it can cut you. And I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to paint, once I've finished this, I'm going to paint the canvas black. And then I wanted to maybe stick some kind of paper in the back here. So that way when it's on display, you see the image show up better than just leaving it plain. But I'm still trying to decide on that. At the same time, I'm going to keep these that I'm cutting out because then that means I have canvas letters now. I mean, they're not perfect, but they'll do. So there's the B and the D. You can see that. Sorry. So moving on to the A. Sorry about that noise, it's just my dog in the background. I mean, he'll sit inside with me all day and not make any noise, and then as soon as I come out here to videotape, he starts whining in the background. too concerned about these letters and numbers cutting these letters and numbers out what I'm really concerned about is when I get to the island and all the little bits and pieces without making it just look like one big hole in the <laughs> middle of the canvas so that's why I'm hoping if I cut inside the lines that will leave me the enough of the canvas left to kind of make it look like it's got some little needs a little connecting points somewhere along the way. There we go. And there is the A.
go. There's one four. Let me cut out this iron. And then I'll go off, once I finish these numbers, I'll go off um, and do the rest off camera so it doesn't get too long the video. But this was the easy part. Less likely to mess up on this part. I don't know if anyone else has these problems, if they're not exactly knives coming loose. Mm -hmm. But I have that problem all the time. It doesn't matter what exacto knife kit I use. So trusty number one. There we go. I think it looks cool so far. I hope you guys agree. Um, so yeah, this video is already 15, almost 15 minutes. So I'm going to end it here and I'm going to go and attempt to cut out the rest of this. And then I will be back to show the final canvas. So I want to thank you all for watching and until next time, bye for now.